Hello, my name is Morgan. I'm from Diversity in the United States, and I'm here discussing, discuss, discussing discussion board number five um, for civic engagement. So civic engagement is a term used to describe active participants in the public community. Your action should be informed, committed, constructive, and benefit not only you, but also your community. Communities are at the center of civic engagement. Civic engagement means promoting quality of life and community through not only political processes, but also through non-political processes. Um, so in the TED Talk video, Ben Warner discussed civic engagement and why he thought it was so vital. He said civic engagement has power. He said it can help people come together to create new ideas, build new programs, transform lives, and shape public policy. He said civic engagement can make things happen and make things real. Civ civic engagement is the most important factor in making the community work. As people get involved in their communities, they transform the value of their communities and change the definition of success that a community has for itself. Civic engagement is how you can make government work by the people and for the people. Civic engagement transforms both communities and people. Democracy becomes real for people when they decide what kind of community they want. Um, so that's why Ben Warner thought civic engagement was so vital and I'd have to say I agree with him. Um, when people come together in the communities to create change, they are working by the people for the people, which is what was intended of our democracy. Um, so I think everything he said is pretty um, on point with civic engagement. Um, so the third question for discussion board number three was um, using Strong's three levels of civic engagement as a guide to analyze and evaluate the American Democracy Project initiatives at Fort Hayes. Um, so I went to the Fort Hayes website and I pulled up, first of all, like the mission statement for American Democracy Project. Uh, project and it said the American Democracy Project is a initiative created by Fort Hay State University Center for Civic Leadership. American Democracy Project is a university-wide initiative designed to prepare the next generation of informed engaged citizens for our democracy. The goal of the American Democracy Project is to produce university graduates with the civic knowledge, skills, and values who are committed to being active citizens in their communities. The American Democracy Project Initiative provides numerous civic and political engagement activities that challenge and encourage students to find their place and make a difference. So, according to Strong, all of our work falls into three categories, which are probability, cost, and duty. So, based on what the mission statement said on the Fort Hayes statement on the Fort Hayes website for the American Democracy Project, and um, also based on what I saw on their Twitter and Facebook page, um, the American Democracy Project has all three of these categories within them. So, the first level, le the first one is the cost lever. It's about ensuring we connect users with information they need to be involved. Well, the American Democracy Project connects graduates with the information they need by posting on their social media websites, Facebook and Twitter, about important events and issues. Um, they make sure to push post their mission statement for everyone to see on the Fort Hayes website as well. But mainly people can go to their Twitter page and they can see everything important um, that's happening with our community-wise and on the Fort Hayes um, campus through the Twitter page. Um, so that's how the cost level is lever is utilized. Um, the duty lever is about increasing a user's sense of civic duty. So the American Democracy Project does this by promoting important issues like voting on their social media pages. Um, I happen to look at it around the time of when the voting was happening, like November 6th or whatever that was, um, there's a ton of posts like, go vote today if you're above 18 and that kind of stuff. So they really promote important things. They also post videos of time talks, which discuss important issues in the community that make people want to get more involved. I watched a couple of these time talk videos and they were very informative and it made me kind of want to learn more about what was happening. Um, the last one is the probability lever and it is the impact lever groups can make a difference when groups of people take action together. If an individual can get another individual to take an impactful action in coordinates with others, they scale their efforts and increase the likelihood that they will have an impact. So um, if these th take place online, like the American Democracy Project 
um, does through their social media websites and through the Fort Hayes websites. We can bundle users' actions in the same way that we bundle donations to help shift the probability that work will change the civic outcome. So the American Democracy Project at Fort Hayes State uses an online platform to help bring people together and discuss important issues. Um, like using these for time talks. The more people that view these videos and become informed, the better chance we have of fixing an issue. So as you can see, civic engagement is very important in our community, and it's something that everyone should be aware of and everyone should try to engage in, even if they can't do it in like a major way, like being the head of a project or anything like that. Just the simple steps of volunteering every now and then can make a huge impact on our communities. Thank you.